there guys welcome back to the channel thanks very much for joining us again today got a very short video for you today that'll show you how to edit your weebly website so before i i show you that um if you haven't tried weebly before if you're just thinking about getting into it or whatever then there's a link in the description for this video just down below that will take you straight to weebly as a, a free trial version for you to try out as well so if you want to give it a go after watching the video just click the link down below and uh, like I said, once you log in, um, this will be similar or at least identical to what you look at. And um, this is kind of the dashboard of Weebly. Um, and, you know, obviously you can click on, you know, my site there and you can access this dashboard um, if you're if you're not on there for whatever reason. And there's a number of places then where, you know, obviously you've got this edit site button here, which you can access the website builder on, as well as the, the edit site option down here. Um, so, you know, however you kind of uh, navigate to it, you need to get to the edit site button somehow. Um, it's also there on the top right when you click edit your websites if you own multiple so this opens the weebly editor and this is basically where all of the editing of that site takes place okay so you've got access to every page um, by selecting pages at the top there and you can see that you've got a list of all the pages uh, involved in that website if you single left click them you go to that page and it gives you some of the uh, basic options for it title and things like that um, so this is very easy to navigate and very easy to find your way around um, if you go then and close that and uh, that takes you back to the sort of um, initial dashboard and you've obviously got the um, if you give it a second build page um, you'll see that you've got kind of most of the basic options that you'd you know associate with editing a website there as well as the ability to kind of you know um, add media and you know, structure the page and, you know, add loads of um, elements and things like that. As far as editing the page, um, all of these things are selectable. Uh, so with a single left click, you'll see that the menu associated with that object appears. Um, so you can see that it's, you know, quite intuitive, very easy to use. And when it comes to text, you basically get, you know, what looks like the top of a word processing package appear. And it, obviously, if you double click, then you can edit that text and command an A or control an A if you're on a PC will select all of that text and you can sort of directly type in and replace that very easily you know so and um, once the website is kind of constructed and you know you've got a template selected it's, it's quite easy to edit that site you know it's very straightforward um, obviously the footer whatever edits that you perform on that as well as the header that will take place on each of the pages then you know so um and remember to preview your website in mobile mode as well. That will allow you to ensure that, you know, mobile users get presented uh, a good looking version of the website. And uh, any changes that you make, you know, you need to sort of bear in mind that the, probably the vast majority of your traffic will come from a mobile device. Um, I found with my sites in the past, uh, so it may look great on desktop, but make sure that you preview it on mobile as well. And that concludes the tutorial. As I said, there's um, a lot more detailed tutorials on specific things on the channel. So check them out if you've uh, enjoyed the video and you want to see more content like that. Uh, give us a like and subscribe. And, um, you know, if you've got any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget, like I said, there's a link for the trial version of Weebly down in the comment section of this video just below. Uh, so don't forget to give that a click and give it a go if you haven't done so already. Thanks very much.